Hello and welcome to SnowRunner and today we have a awesome mod review to do. I can show you everything what we've got for the Kenworth W990 which has just been released this morning. Now if you're looking for a truck with attention to detail then this is the one. This was created by Iceberg101 part of D&D modding and he's done an awesome job on it now this is only available for PC at the moment and there will be ones coming for console pretty soon it's got to be converted so as soon as it's converted it will be available now the other part of this truck is the trailers where we got five different trailers all all bespoke trailers made for this truck basically so you don't only get a truck you get a trailer pack for it as well so we go through show you the options available and then we'll uh, look at the trailers now I'm UK Gamer 28 if you haven't seen me before then we've done quite a few videos on this for works in progress over the last month and I've enjoyed testing it it's been a really really nice bit of kit and it will go through anything it will get stuck every now and again but it keeps chugging along it really does so overall on the outside of it you can see we've got plenty of dirt now all that dirt that's all been painted on by hand you can see the top glass there where the dirt around the edges and the same on the other windscreens as well as you look around the vehicle going inside crazy amount of detail in here and for those who want the Optimus Prime which was asked about there we go we've got the Optimus Prime logo in the back you can turn that on and off that is a DND add-on where's well, DND sticker now let's turn that off a minute now inside when when iceberg showed me this tier interior and we were like wow look at all these gauges absolutely load of gauges on there and everyone works and they've all got a purpose now I'm not going to show you exactly each what each one is but I want you to put it in the comments when you find out what they are now they go down to the air brakes to the diff locks when they get hot and quite a few others you can see that all, all of them you see them all going strong there so can you work it out what it is because there's loads now so that all works inside we've got working mirrors both sides like that and then see the attention to detail he's done the uh, dirt around the inside of the windscreen there just around the edges unbelievable really is a nice bit of kit now we spent a bit of time doing some tire designs as well and i'll show you that now where he's got some michelins and continental tires for it and they've got some awesome grips them. they really have you can see if we can't zoom in a little bit more there hang on let's spin it around a little bit more there we go now there's a michelin that side and then if you go around the other side because of the way the game is it will be reverse so we can't really see that well in the sun but it is because you're going to get loads of people say oh no it's it's a uh, reverse on the other side it's like yeah we know i showed you that in the video so yeah fantastic now going inside the other things what well, i i didn't notice this for ages and then uh he told me about it was just little things like the um well hang on let's get in the straight line so we're not going to drive into stuff the, the visors are a little bit of movement on them as it being moved as it being moved i was <laughs> driving along absolutely awesome right so we've got saddle high saddle low on it and we've also got all oh, logging capabilities as well so let's take it in the garage and show you what options are available right so here we go we've got two engine options the 12.9 liter and the 14.9 so you can see quite a big difference on that and always go with that one anyway now gearboxes quite a few different gearboxes as you can see where we've got the stock 8 speed then the high range 10 speed and i think we'll have the off-road 6 and then there's off-road 6 with manual manual low sorry and then we have the pakar 12 speed as well which is an absolute beast then we go on to suspension wise so we've got air ride active you can have raised or stock highway just like that and then tire wise so here's the two different continentals here we've got a 49 inch and a 53 inch 
and you see they got all the, the writing on the side walls of them but it will be round the wrong way on the other side mud tires we got 49s 53s and then we got the other set as well the xl r's the g xlr's pretty nice then chained option we have got chained available and he's put the michelins the 49 inch and the 53s on there as well so like that then moving on to winches autonomous heavy which is ideal always need autonomous especially my driving and then the sherpa stallion which will pull anything basically it's not autonomous though the sherpa and then snorkel wise we've got four different snorkels available and frame add-ons so we've got the log carrier high or low and we've also got repair points which he's put into a box there so you can add that and yeah 300 repair points there which is pretty nice then we have sun visor roof beacons then is our different bumpers which you got at the moment and then we move on custom stickers he's put his lion and then the flaming lion on there and exhaust wise we have the muzzle dual capped muzzle and let's have those and then D&D &D customs we have the OP cab light just like that and then rims they're all the same anyway and then these are the color choices now for those who don't know this was he did this this is the optimus prime prime paint job which is why you've got the optimus prime logo in the back whereas some of you might not be aware of that and think well what's the point of that what's that for but you can see he's done quite a few different color choices for it as well just like that with the optimus prime paint if you want that if you don't you can turn it all off it doesn't really matter and then going on to bobbleheads got all the bobbleheads there and we go down to where's he gone I think there it is we have the Delta custom card in there as well and I think that was yeah that was it hopefully I haven't missed anything I think that was pretty much most of it now first off trailer wise so behind us we'll hook up that one first I'm having a little bit of frame rate I put all these vehicles out and I probably should have spread them out a little bit more than I I have now we have got the all-wheel drive switchable all-wheel drive on it as well and then I think I need to change where is that set up now yeah let's zoom out a bit so we can see these trailers just like that and that is the medium logging trailer which is part of the Delta trailer pack so you need to buy these well not buy download the mods separately as a trailer as a trailer pack sorry let's just drop that off there disconnect And you see those stacks beautiful right let's go on round to the other trailers and what have you turn that off a minute let's just jump in the here we got the low loader well it's not that low I suppose but detached there we go now this take the four slots on the back no three slots sorry but it's more of a vehicle oh let's start fire that up start that engine and then uh, it's for it's just a bespoke trailer for moving why isn't the ramps coming up oh I haven't attached it there you go right there we go let's get on the trailer there we go so yeah like I said we've got the working ramps on there and that bloody sun's really bright now just like that pretty cool but I like the, the way this typical of, of iceberg basically when he brings the truck out he wasn't gonna bring just the truck out he wanted to bring 
a whole range of trailers for it as well which he's done fair play always pushes it a little bit further now the log trailer the long ones these you can see these are a little bit different to the in-game ones um, because well let's zoom in on the trailer there we go these are bespoke to the these ones he actually modeled them himself and they look fantastic it feels like it will it's it's full up it really is what's the time getting on there that's why let's put it back to there and then there we go but all these trailers we've got the worn effect on them where he's sp done spent a lot of time putting all the textures on them really has and that light is sunlight today is proving to be a pain in the arse so that's the so we got the medium and the long logging trailer and you see when we slow up speed down it's just got spent a bit of time getting it right so you get a bit of movement with the logs but not too much fantastic right let's get to the next one right so next trailer we have now this one is repair points basically on this one you can see let's do the you see we've got nothing to open the doors or anything like that because what he's done he's added a load of repair points and the nice thing is it is colored to match well let's get that back it's color matched to the, to this paint job as well and we have a load of repair points stop let's do that go to refuel repair and you see we got 2000 on the delta supplies semi trailer and i think we got fuel in there as well haven't we yes 3000 on the fuel as well so you got 5000 all in all which is uh, pretty cool so the whole idea of that one is to drive it around the map somewhere and especially somewhere where you got no repair points or fuel and drop that off jobs are good un. but same thing again on this trailer the attention to detail on it unbelievable love the D&D &D on the flap flaps there pretty awesome it's got the off-road tires on there looks really nice bit of kit goes without any issues didn't have any problems towing this whatsoever now as this is currently well it just come out today then there might be a few little issues here and there you never know so anyone comes across anything make sure to put it in the either on the mods io page or on um discord right let's have a look at the workhorse then so this one we have the six slot trailer just like that now you see we've got quite a high wheelbase on this and you won't have any issues getting this bad boy stuck it is long but six slots and you can put it where you want going through the mud or anything this Kenworth will go through anything it really will it just keeps chugging away even no matter whoa, which tires the mud tires are obviously the best for the mud but uh, they all get the job done they really do but this is an essential one for a six slot awesome loving that right then the last one trailer we have get over on the back there we go and this one is the cargo one now this one we have got the doors on the back which open up like that and you can see in the back there there is the ramps now there is quite a bit of an issue where the ramps sort of glitch all over the place so he decided to turn them off for the time being because the game just it doesn't like it whatsoever so uh, you would end up driving up there and then it they start freaking out and what have you so that's why he decided to turn those off off at the moment now it is a four slot i think it was let's go over to the cargo it is a four slot i'm sure it is so i know a lot of people are going to say they want the ramps but until the game and they can get them working a little bit better puppy master had the same with his ones as well he's got a disclaimer on there saying about it and it's there for a reason so they're turned off for a reason but you can see we've got four slots in the back of that just like that close up the doors 
job to get in. Let's get back on the front there. So anyone who's driving in cab, you're going to absolutely love it. I think the lighting on the dash wasn't coming on at the moment. Right, let's put this into auto. And you see I've got the mud tyres. Let's get rid of that dev tools. We don't want to whoa, see them. And we've got a, some mud over this way. So let's go and uh, put it through there. Now all, all these trailers and the Kenworth W990, they all spent, well, it is hundreds of hours to get them into the game. They really are. And there will be console a variants of coming of all of them, the trailer pack and the Kenworth truck very soon. There's also going to be an 8x8 version coming out. And hopefully more trucks. So we got it into auto. Oh, I should have banged it down the gear. And we would have been alright there. But what we found with this one is like, even thick, thick mud. On the proving grounds, you've got the one thick part. It will get through there. It goes very, very slowly. But uh, it would go through. But he's got all the... Well, everything set up with the tyres and everything working pretty well. Now, I think we have... Did I do the active? I think I already did, didn't I? No, there we go. We've got a bit of active, which always helps. Go into low, diff lock. No issues whatsoever. You should have a lot of fun with it. And for the how much work he's done it, done an awesome job. Really is fantastic. Now, if you haven't subscribed to myself or Delta Gaming, make sure to give us a subscribe and then you can stay up with the latest. You won't miss out on the latest videos because you've got plenty more mods coming. Really have. Righto. Well, I think we'll leave it there for today. We do, will do some other videos putting this through, but just showing you everything what's going on. The videos get too long otherwise at times, so... That is what you get in for the Kenworth W990, available on PC today, courtesy of Iceberg101, Delta Gaming. Right now, that's it for today. Thanks for watching this SnowRunner mod review on the Kenworth W990. Thanks for watching. Till the next time, goodbye.